TV sound system, you know what it is, it's Selector Hype up inside the place, we call it past, present and future. Remember to hit that subscribe button, like, share, comment below if there's any particular sounds that you want me to interview, especially those, especially those inside the UK. We will make it happen or try our best to happen. So this is like part two of the showdown we have had in depth with the man himself, Cecil from King Top is the owner. He went in hard. That is something that you need to watch if you're watching this one and haven't watched that one yet. You will understand how the video just ro rotates and goes straight into present and future. Some of the faces that you can see right now are very familiar with King Tubbies. They've been around for a minute. They're doing their thing. But we've got to keep these interviews and these things mad exciting. I'm going to pass and talk to one of the youngish fresh face looking selectors them um, inside King Tubby's right about now. It's juvenile. How you doing? I'm good still. Yo fam, I heard you're 13. No. Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> the, the 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 talk was Tubby's. Do that. It was it was man. It was it was it was about. A lot of people were saying, yo, Tubby's got a youth on the sound, you know, he's only 13, you know. I said 13. I was like, yo, and they said, yo, he's killing it. <laughs> blah blah no, blah. No, 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 no. Um we won't say your age, unless you want to let people know how, how, how young you are or I'm old, old you are. Huh? Say so I'm older than 18. Okay, so you're old enough, you, know, you know what's what. You know street vibes and everything, everything what's going on. Yeah. What is your connection with Tubbies and how did you become a part of, of such a legendary sound? Well, I mean, when I was about 10 years old, when I was, when I was about 10 years old, there was trips, like outings, going like Portsmouth, um, Great Yarmouth, all of these places, yeah. and I used to go there. But when King Tubby's was playing, I was always looking there, and I was always like, wanted to be like one day gonna be up there, and mm -hmm. um, and over the years the trips just keep on coming, the outing kept on coming, kept on coming, 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 and I was like, you know what, this time I'm gonna try get something together, and I, I want to be around the sun. Mm -hmm. So it was like. I took one year to get lots of tunes, try to be a good selector, mm -hmm. and then the outing came again, and I was like, it's time. Okay. So I'm, bring, I'm bringing my hard drive this time, bringing it. Hopefully they'll let me get a play. Yeah. So um, I knew a person that was on it. His name's Mad Indian. He was on it, um, and he was like someone my mum knew and all of that stuff in it. So I went up to Cecil, and I was like, um, can I get a play? And he was like, he started laughing, but <laughs> I was like, I'm waiting for the answer. <laughs> um, and then he was like, yeah. Um, and he was like, but what do you have? And I was like, I've got hard drive, innit? He was like, oh, okay, okay, okay. So the time has come now. You get to put in the hard drive now. I'm familiar with Serato and all of that, but yeah. I wasn't really too familiar with the, the controller. But I was like, you know what? I can do this, man. So there's people there. They're grooving, sitting down, doing their thing. And then something came. I met Scorpion as well. He was on the mic. Um, but then since I started, jug I started juggling. And then he was enjoying. The he was there, he was bubbling up. And then he was moving and everything. And people started getting up and coming onto the dance floor. And I was like, whoa. Looks like the, the, the boss is enjoying what I'm doing. Mm. So comes to the point where um, everyone's on the dance floor. And everything's going on. So then I'm like what should I do now? So I'm off now, someone else is playing. And I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna ask the manager if I can join. Mm -hmm. So I went over to him, I was like, can I join please? And he was like, yeah, sure. <laughs> and then I went to go get my mum, and he spots him, they reasoned it out, uh -huh. and that was it, wow. so ever since from then. Okay, so prior to that, where 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 is your music? Um, where where does your music genre lie? Like, what is your what would you kind of like say is your main specialist? Is it a dancehall thing, or how 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 would you? Because you're mad young. I would say, I would say, new dancehall mm -hmm. is more my kind of thing. But yeah. also, <laughs> like, I'll say reggae is good as well. Like you know, like bam bam and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Calypso, mm -hmm. I can do that. Yeah. Yeah. So you're mad fresh for, for what's going on in, in the present time right now. Yes, man. Um, how important do you think it is, even though you're that young, to be able to learn some knowledge of what the history is of, of reggae? And even though you say new dance or is, is your thing, is that something you're just going to kind of like master? 
or will you kind of like look back and, and try and gain some experience from well, like I mean, the 80s dance hall, etc etc well i mean when i was younger my grandma dad and i was in jamaica mm -hmm. um and my cousin was a dj and i've been watching him ever since even the sounds virtual dj times and everything mm -hmm. The, from then, I was just listening to 80s and all these tunes. Mm -hmm. Now I'm here. Are you fan of sound? Man. Yeah. Are you fan of sound clash? Sound clash. Yeah. Not yet, but there's soon to come. Okay. <laughs> so you, come. you, so you, uh, is that the, is that the lane that you also want to go into? Yes, I mean, man. you've seen the trophies, them. I'm sure you've seen yes. the, the, you've seen the, the, how big this sound is. Yes. Uh, how much pressure do you think it is on you right now? I mean, I don't even know. I don't even think it's that much pressure because I'm confident enough. I don't know if you saw me at Weekender. I was juggling at Weekender. I've, I've just heard a lot about you. I've heard, I've heard <laughs> a lot. I've heard a lot. Yeah, a lot man. of people then like literally called me and says, hi, Toby's got this youth on his sound and he knows what he's doing. And yeah. I've always said the youths them are the future. If you can connect with a youth who knows exactly what's going on and you already, just your story of how you became part of King Toby's shows how serious you are. You went to the manager politely called your mum over as well to sign the contract and make sure say, <laughs> everything homework's done and work is done and yes. all these things so yeah it's a really really good look for you right now so dance hall wise let's talk about just dance hall in in terms of a party we're going to come away from the sound system team yeah um the juggling parties the dance hall music that's out there right about now how how, how do you think dance hall is moving in, in this current state of of, of of times now well these these dance hall songs is is quite hype and oh. i tried to keep it low in, in terms of hype because you know you, you'll be at a party juggling dancehall and then suddenly someone f for example r kelly not let's come out of dancehall r mm. kelly the other day i was at a party i played r kelly the birthday song mm. and pressure was on me literally oh yeah. oh don't play that don't play that yeah, yeah. so i had to go to the stevie wonder because mm -hmm. you don't know <laughs> <laughs> and i really like the r kelly you know yeah but yeah yeah, yeah. It's, it's mm -hmm. just kind of I think time will tell because, again, I know people that, that, that and it's a good story and a good topic that you, you brought up because obviously you knew about the situation with R. Kelly, but you still took out your time and were confident enough to play it. Yes. There are selectors um, where they're just not playing it. The selectors that, that that's gone Facebook Live, watch me delete Arm R. Kelly them. I'm thinking, you sucker, because, hey, if, if he has to play in a certain environment and somebody wants it, and you're a party sound, you're a dance hall selector, and you yeah. may end up playing at a birthday party. You know, hats off to just being that confident enough to do it, man. So, fam, we're going to look forward to seeing your future. I think it's going to be bright. You're an amazing team, an amazing squad. And, um, yeah, we're definitely going to be watching your your future because, like I says, name's calling hard, fam. So that is a real, real positive yeah. thing. So, and also, you know what I mean? Also, not to cut you, it, mm. is, it is also a big thanks to Cecil because... If it wasn't for him, I don't think I would be on a, such a big platform mm -hmm. like where I am now. Like, because when I wasn't on the sun, I don't think like people like Saxon or, for example, Fat Man, I don't know they would, if they would introduce me or put me on their yeah. sound. Mm. So it was a it was a very nice thing for Cecil to do that for yeah, me. So it's definitely, all man, definitely. Real talk, man. Real yes. talk, man. Yeah, man. So you know what it is? It's, it's TV sound system, Sector Hyper Pizzada plays. We're hearing some from the young Genesem. We're just going to pass the mic over to the big man in the middle. Where he's saying from? Yeah. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy Fridge, a.k.a. Every minute him they are foreign. What are you saying, man? <laughs> always wearing the sliders, always wearing shorts, always got the T-shirt on. What, uh, everything good? Got to keep it real, bro. Yo, man. Um, the funny thing is about... Um, it's not even funny. The, the, the thing that I know about you is that it was more through social media. When the whole Facebook came up, I seen Daddy Fridge, and you was doing a lot of things yeah, and representing and putting on your own events, etc., etc. Just like briefly let us know, like, where did it start for you before, prior to King Tobby's? Um, just just shed some light on, on all the things that you've done. Well, I think it was like, I've got like a community centre, a hall. Okay. And I was seeing sound systems come in there at the weekends for parties and stuff. And kind of watching, thinking to myself, right, you know what? I can get involved in this. So I joined the sound. Um, started going out, playing stuff. And funny enough, you know what? At the time when I joined it, because it was all new to me, I didn't even know what a rhythm was. 
seriously i would mm-hmm. go i'd go into certain dances with with a pouch of music and go from a soca to a reggae back to this <laughs> repeat the rhythm yeah, i'm not yeah. gonna lie to you mm-hmm. then um i left that sound and somebody a guy called mr t come to me and said yo fridge you're good at what you're doing but you need some structure mm. so started doing that and then um I became solo for quite some time and just stayed on the radio oh. station doing drive time shows, interviews with the artists and whatnot. Yeah. And then, I don't know, just going into dances and stuff. And then the break came with Tubbies. How did that, how did that come about? Uh, just going into the dances and stuff. And then after a while, uh, Cecil's son and daughters and stuff came and just said, yo, Fridge, why don't you come over and come see what I go and come around to the HQ and whatnot. Mm-hmm. So I started coming, following them to certain bookings and just grew from there. Mm-hmm. And I've seen you, I've seen you be really confident around King Tubby's. Um, seems like you've gelled with the, the whole team extremely well. I think the last time I saw you um, was down at the O2 when we was down at the Birmingham. The, yeah, over Birmingham at the um, Mighty Crown Dance with Vadi Gunner. Yeah, rewind, so, fast forward. Yeah, and you you did your thing. Yeah. You came and did an early set in, in, in that room and then you came into the main room and, and still c- continue that consistency. Um, how important is it for you to make sure that every time you step out on King Tubby's, you're 100% and, and how do you feel about the way how Cecil kinda has this very strict way of how he wants his sound to look and represent um, to the world? I see it as when we step out there, it's not, it's not about me. It's about the legacy that Cecil's built and for us to continue that with him. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think there's certain people that, from other sounds, this sound that will go out there and think it's about them. It's never that. That's mm-hmm. one thing. It's about Tubbies is here and we're representing Tubbies tonight. Mm-hmm. And we all have to work as a team to make sure that we can take it as far as what it needs to go. And there's a sound system thing, right? I know that you're, you're a big fan of the Clash thing. Yeah, but I, f- I, I don't know, and you have to cr- collect me, correct me if I'm wrong, but you are probably not that much into The Clash, more than you are into music. The yeah. music side of things, you seem to support so well. Um, any artist that's in the place, you're around them. Budgeting, you was one of the first to, to like let people know the, the whole situation, you was there. Um, how important is Clash for you? Is that something that you're going to leave to the rest of the team? And what, what is your main position in the sound? I think when it comes to Clash, there's other MCs on the sound that can take care of that situation. Um, I'll always be there, 100% supporting it. And if another MC on the sound can't make the date, mm-hmm. then why are we not afraid? Mm. But... There's other people and I would prefer for them to take on the clash and leave me mm-hmm. for some of the dances and stuff like that, you know? Okay, cool. And with you, like I says, even though I, d- I did say that it looks like you, you're more into the music than, than, than the clash thing, yeah. how much input would you say you had, especially when it comes to dub plate cutting? Because like I said, you seem to know the music, you know the artists, them. Uh, what's your, uh, how much input do you have when it comes to dub plate cutting and, and voicing songs? Well, you know, there's always discussions. We always meet up around here. There's discussions about what dubs are going to be cut, etc. So it's all teamwork. It's mm-hmm. never just left to one person. All of us work as a team and work out maybe what we need to go to a clash and etc. You know. Yeah. Away from Tubbies, who who who's who's inside the UK right about now that that you think yeah them they're, they're going on with the team still. Why? Well, I find it hard to comment because. A lot of the sounds, I think, can do much more for themselves to to kind of go further. So some of the young sounds, yeah, it's great that we've got young sounds and they're still representing the culture. But I think they need to look at what some of the elder sounds were doing and just not turn up out. Anybody can just put two bucks together and turn up out there. And, or even if they don't have two bucks, just go and cut a whole heap of tune. Look how easy it is to cut tunes these days. Yeah. I can phone up, make a call now. Tomorrow morning, we've got six dub inside the email. Mm-hmm. It's easy. Anyone can do it. So I think there needs to be more structure on some of the, the new sounds so coming up. So technically, you can't even think of one. 
I can't what it name is, one. Man, that's, you know, I that's can't. That's there's nothing that's you know outstanding that's there for me at the minute for me to say. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're going on with things because right. I think uh, everybody can work much harder than what they're doing. Mm. So it's just lack of focus, lack, lack of. I'm going to keep using the same term, you know, the, the, the lack of marketing and promotion. It yeah. doesn't seem to be there. Okay, Definitely. cool. Fridge is up inside the building. Like I said, it's Kin Topics, it's YouTube, it's Selector Hype, it's TV Sound Systems. Hit that subscribe button because we're going to go around to all the members and we pass it over. Scarpian. Yes, Naya. How you doing, man? How's cool, things? Naya. I think this is the first time we kind of actually like meeting up properly yeah. on, on, a, on a vibe still. So, again, fair to say that you're kind of like the main MC when it comes to the real hardcore thing, the real yeah, nitty gritty the, thing. The warrior, you know. You're definitely yeah. out there to represent. Yeah, Again, how did how did your circumstances come? Because like I says, um, we've seen MCs come and go. Um, uh, how did you get part of, become part of the Tubby's uh, team? Well, uh, well, it's been a long while you now. It's been a long while. Uh, it's been a long while. Um, sorry about that. Yeah, it's been a it's been a while since I've um I've been in England. Well, for me, to some people, it's just with here, but mm -hmm. going 19 years and but okay. in 10 years gap. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm there for 10 years. Never get involved in any form of music. Cause I used to do that back home in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. I came here. Mm -hmm. I came here. Okay. And move about South London and thing. The only song that really pulled the string for me was King Tubby's. Okay. When Carnival time come up and so on, and we went to Carnival. I have to find the location of King Tubbies for yeah. me to feel really comfortable mm -hmm. at a spot called the float thing, I'm really in yeah. up and down the So I always find a spot where King Tubbies are play where I focus on. Okay. And then, okay, time, okay. as I say, it was Cropper and them guys, it was mm -hmm. the thing. Mm -hmm. He have a vibe that I always like as well. So I always used to enjoy being around King Tubbies from then time yeah, and so yeah. on. Yeah. So, yeah. So, when you, so when you finally joined the sound, um, what was your plan and what, what, is, what, was your, what was your sole intention to do to be? come on King Tubbies and do? Well, from my perception towards music, I almost see this music thing going and so on. I would, I would love to see the right type of music play that gonna benefit the people. Mm -hmm. You understand me? More yeah. like majority. Yeah. But as you know, it all turned away where a lot of derogatory going on mm -hmm. in the music thing and so on. But in the day, playing music with moral, I believe in that and that's what I'm here to enforce yeah. to the people. You understand me? So. It's all about the love of the music. Mm -hmm. Why we all do this, you know? Well, definitely, I gotta say, um, it was I can't remember the audio that I was listening to when you was representing for Tubby's. The energy is mad high, mad fearless. Definitely up there right about now because there are there's a few key MCs who are gonna get to a chance to interview them. I'm not gonna call all their names right now, but if I had a top five in terms of energy, real hardcore clash passion, you're in the fire fam. How are you going to keep that structure going that your consistency is going to be a long-term plan with Tubbies and not necessarily be somebody that comes and goes and comes and goes after a certain period of time? Well, it's a long journey. I already know that. And, and I believe I born with this the, the, the feeling of in. in uh, uh, in inbound concept mm -hmm. of being a um, might man playing reggae music and mm -hmm. so on. So I intend to go the longest journey. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm more sick or uh, dead, take me out of this big mm -hmm. and serious, but you know what I mean? And the thing about it, I don't like to be leaving from, I wouldn't come to play King Tubbies and be living from sound to sound. Mm -hmm. That is not my perception. It, mm -hmm. Other people, it happened naturally. Well, I was doing it in Jamaica, but me come to England, and from mm -hmm. me come to England, this is the only sound. That may really feel comfortable, really mm. establishing. And, and like Cecil so was saying, like I said, you're kind of like the main MC there now. When it's going to come to the war thing, you're going to be out there. Yeah. Cecil so said earlier on, if in the uh, previous episode, shall we say, um, this one bag of suck, your mother thing and your mother this and this and the other. Man, fam, I've seen you out there, man. You're mad hardcore. If that, you heard Cecil so say, that's not what he's in. Well, a man's chucking at, you, at it hard like that to you. How are you going to keep that composure? Because you like a man like say, yo, you might just fire two lyrics back on him, you know. How, do you, how, do you, how are you going to be able to adjust with that kind of um, way? And is it okay, do you think, for um, an MC who is on the stage, they're at the forefront, in the clash, anything goes? 
do you, are, do you, are you okay with Cecil kind of like technically saying, you know what, MC, if he said this, I uh, said that? Because it kind of might take you out of your own comfort zone of who you are to in express yourself, whether it's a negative thing or, or, or a positive way. How, how, how are you going to kind of manifest well, first that? First of all, some of it I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't agree to with Father Cecil himself, but himself because believe in me, you may feel some man out there disrespecting me. And the media, people out there seeing him disrespecting me. I mm. want them to hear, hear me disrespecting him at the same time too. One mm. for one. You stick yeah. me, stick you. Mm -hmm. As simple as that. But you know it goes. Tubby, that's how I work on a certain principle. And you know what I mean? You have, mm. you have your image covered a certain way and things. Uh, we play for all different variety, variety kind of people and yeah. things. So you still have to keep the principle going at the same time. So be a bit discreet with that. Mm. You know what I mean? Who's that's your favorite MCs then um, out there in, in, in the clash world, the juggling world? Who are the MCs I mean, who kind of like, who you was influenced on? Because um not everybody wants to take up the mc role <laughs> because the mc role can be sticky in certain situations the selector's all right you know because he's got the bag of the he can do it but you're the showman you've got to put on the show up front is there anybody else that you was kind of like influenced by and who are you rating right now especially in the uk is there any mcs who you see are kind of like going on with a little thing where you you know that um Microphone wise, MC wise, you could easily match them. Well, I'm not like to you. They're so unselfish, but I'm not going to lie to you. I <laughs> can't put my hand upon the body if I said in right now. You know what I mean? Mm. He pulled my string away where he might teach me something like that. Okay. Believe mm -hmm. me, because I, I find myself in, in my own class with what I do. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Everybody MC differently. When me I go play a clash of water, you know, if father said to us, we have to like prepare. Prepare is a good thing. Mm. But I don't plan. Because when I go out there and stand up in front of the people and the reaction that you get with the music that you play, that is when you know what you're gonna do there and then. So mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah, Everybody yeah, have yeah. their own style, them own way of come across how they do what they do, you know what I mean? So the future plans for King Tobbies is looking I'm gonna say, especially on the class thing, it's a little bit slow. That's not a bad thing. There's a lot of clashes been going on and Tobbies has been representing and obviously the trophies around here is that something you want to be a part of and bring back because obviously all yes, them clashes there where top is bidding you never had the chance to be able to do it or maybe 100%. win the dance and where they didn't win so yeah, um how, how's your preparation how are you feeling about knowing that that is something that you want to do well i'm feeling i'm i'm, I'm really I'm, I'm interested to see what um you know you know we work as a team mm -hmm. father Cecily boss him there you know what i mean not here we are work as a team so that is something we have to happen it is it's about the music mm -hmm. that king tubbies can produce to the people and you know, you know what i mean and put out phone out there to them so that them you know what i mean yeah can choose what really sound them interested and the type of music that we play and you know what i mean how we can you know what i mean proceed mm -hmm. yeah you know well like i said just like juvenile you're Technically, kind of like one of the new members of the team, and so there's going to be a time for you to manifest your thing. And I'm definitely looking forward to see what you're going to bring with to the table. Obviously, we know, we all know Tubbies is a big sound. The songs them are there. The fan base is there. I guess it's just like no pressure, fam. But <laughs> you got to go out there and do your thing. So we definitely look forward to see what you what you're doing, man. Up inside the future, right now, man. So enough respect each and every time. Hey, Good to up, talk man. to you, man. And I'm sure we're definitely going to be talking about some clashes that you've been in probably win some lose some and we'll be back in the hq and we can definitely build a, a sound system portrait between each other man so big up yourself each and every yeah, time man, man. bless trust up man trust me, trust me. To the world. we're yeah. gonna continue man it's all about king tubbies we're up inside the place we got silver fox up inside the place mad 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 you know silver fox. you know them sliding ain't that yo you're uh. looking kind of like in the corner there just chilling if you can kind of just like come back down so we, so we can get you inside the camera and that. Right. Um, in terms of Tubbies, where where where, do, where does your part play? Because look like an elder still. Yeah. So it looks like you know your thing. You must have been around for a while. Yeah. Um, old head, old head uh -huh. learning new tricks. Okay. So where <laughs> does your part play in terms of away from King Tubbies, growing up, sound system, culture, reggae music? Oh, where was, where well, is it for you? I first. I played my first song in around 1976. Mm -hmm. And I played that for about six years. Took it from a nucleus to a fully fledged crowd pulling sound all over South London. Mm -hmm. And what's the name of that sound? <clears throat> it was called I Spy. Okay. 
Um, I then went on to have association with another big sound called Safrona B. Uh -huh. After which I rested up for a couple of decades, probably. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then I feel privileged because Cecil then allowed me uh -huh. to keep company with him. So I'm amongst the guys and a part of the crew. So are you going to be technically like, because you're on the L, yeah, I'm not yeah. going to like say you're old, but you know, you know. Yeah, we don't use that is, word. Is that, is, that, is that one of the things that you're going to be doing? Will you be kind of like the MC that will be? No, I'm a with? selector. Oh, you're a selector? Yeah, so yeah. So when yeah. it comes to the music side of things, you're dealing with that thing, that side thing there. Yeah, and, and and essentially I'm more of a party man than uh -huh. a clash man. Okay. So when it comes to the clash thing, I have a lot of experience with clash over the years, uh -huh. but we have the man them that will deal with okay. the clash. So you're more on the on the party side of things, the, the entertainment. Yeah, thing. I prefer it. How's music changed from the days of when you was young, skanking in the party well, well, to where it is right now? Well, crowds are less patient with a selector nowadays than they used to be. Mm. You, you could be playing very, very well for two hours and you play one tune and that's the end of your night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is, that is, yeah. I don't want to put... I don't want people to feel bad, but that is literally how fickle yeah. a crowd can be. Mm. So even for somebody like me now, I better know what I'm doing mm -hmm. when I go and stand in front, especially a prestigious sound like King Tobbies, because mm -hmm. I was aware of King Tobbies from when I started. Yeah. You know, um, I think I started out just within a few years of him starting his thing. Okay. So same era. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So so you know we had a long we had all those years of association. Mm -hmm. Initially obviously for a medicine. How much of a how much of a impact would you say Tubbies have had on the culture itself? Oh, not well, just as a sound system from well, London on the, the, the personal sound opinion, system right? Personal opinion if you're writing history books of sound system. Tubbies has a chapter of its own in there. Yeah. Because the the Tubbies I was aware of is is a sound that was a party sound and a dub sound. Mm -hmm. So some when I started out, some of the man them was dub sound. A lot of the guys actually aspired to be in dub sounds. Mm -hmm. So the music at the time was set a certain kind of way. It was the little guy that I started with, and I was only a little guy because I was a little guy at the time, mm -hmm. who, who came along in his way and bucked the trend. Because mm -hmm. he, 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 he built a fully fledged party song. Yeah. And, and, and that, that, that also has its own chapter because that changed mm -hmm. things a bit. But Tub is, is a song, f f as far as I know, from start to, to present, was a song that house party, wedding, christening, birthday party. And then if a man come and say, I want boss head with some dub, Cecil will say, all right, come now, me and you. Mm. So, so, so. So you again, know. again, like I was saying to the people that we were tuning in, um, we're going to be excited to see what you bring to the table, especially the energy that you can bring as a party sound. Again, we've said King Top is, is is not just a clash sound. No. So when we're going to start to see Top is on an entertaining thing, it's going to be mad exciting to see how you guys gel together and bring this juggling format to the table because it seems like something that's missing right about now. Oh, yeah, and yeah, Tubbies yeah, has yeah. always been relevant um, in all kind of aspects, clash and, and, and the juggling side of things. So to see you come with the entertainment value, we're definitely going to look forward to that, man. So respect. And um, yeah, man, we're definitely going to catch up soon in the, in, in the future. Yes, man. Okay, then, man. Trust oh, me. Man. We are here, still at the HQ. It's all about King Tubbies right about now, the big sound. It's like crazy. Big shout out, reach out to everybody. Remember what to do. Subscribe, hit that button and make sure you comment, like, and share. All right, let's talk to 
Let's talk to I'll give me a little bit of an introduction still, you know. Like, uh, Jenna still, you know. Cool, no? <laughs> really has cemented himself as part of the King Tobby's team. Um seems to be very passionate about his thing, seems to be very focused on his thing, and has always seems to play with ease. There's doesn't there's never an expression on your face where Man looks like he's worried right now, you know. No pressure. Natty inside no the worries. place. What are you saying, fam? Cool, no? <laughs> cool, no? That myself. Well, yo, fam, mm. I think we've had conversations before mm. about where you started from and, and, and that. I think yeah. the people them know your face familiar right cool, about no? now. So That's we can sure. just literally start from Yasso, like today. Today, today. Fam. Today. Well, sometimes there's some people who don't know, who never mm. see it before. So you don't know, you can't take things for granted. Yeah, man, trust me, man. But, you know, I think, I think, Give us a little background on yourself. Because right. I really want to go straight into yeah. nowadays team because right. you're uh, one of the forefront selectors out cool there right up. now. All right. Let's, 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 My let's team go started back. in 1981. Where mm-hmm. I, well, I used to play a little song before that, you know, my early days, but that never yeah. really got out of road with my little school friend there. But 1981 is where I actually was in a school, in a town with my school friend them who mm. actually did go out of road and I do, do things. A song called Phoenix. We used to play in a Providence yeah. house with, with, with Lady Cox and son um, Gary. He mm. used to have a son, Coxon Jr. Yeah. We used to clash against him. Love a select. We used to play Warwick Sticks, man, and all of these songs. Then mm. Providence House and all of them surrounded areas. That was nice. You know, Jimmy Magic would play within a pub, 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 the White Lion and these things. Then mm. you understand? So that was from from so 1981 to 1983. You see it? Mm-hmm. From there, you know, things happen, man. The lifestyle I did have was not conductive with playing music, so you don't know. Yeah, different. Fe- forking at the road still, so mm. you know, if you take a look at pause and thing, and you don't know, and you don't know with music, it's like riding a bike. Mm-hmm. From you know it's in you, you don't know, so you have it and them thing. Do you yeah, understand? Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know? And then fast forward, Tubbies. Mm-hmm. Tubbies. How did that come about? Boom, bam, bam. Boy, there's a lot of controversy. I was playing on a sound. The same song with the bread, um, Silver Fox mentioned before. I was playing with him for a short minute yeah. still. Mm-hmm. I spy. I was I playing spy. a I spy still, mm-hmm. you know? For a good little minute. And I was playing in a local club called Taboo Lounge and said to come in there and see me playing music. I was playing on the night scene and him said to me, oh, I never know how so you play music and these things. I said, so, yeah, man. I do a thing still and show him see me uh, I do my thing the night and yeah. you understand so all right the dance they're done and about two days after that my phone ring a brother used to there on the sound named Nigel I him that call my phone he says says you wanna see me so me asked him what's this you wanna see me for this time for me ask me that question that I part I don't know why he wants to see me <laughs> <laughs> you understand <laughs> you see it playing a poker face you understand what he wants to see me for you understand so he say yeah Real T T. I said, all right, no problem. But I said, so, so I found says I said, him said, rare, rare, rare. We are doing. Me want you to join the team and say, say, yeah, boy, I just start with spying on me. I help him out, and I'm really too rare, rare. You don't know you have to play hard to get some time, you know. Mm-hmm. You understand? So I said, yo, walk one. Me want you to come round the sound. So I said, I help out spy. So we just left it at that. So a couple of weeks, me dead there, me dead there, me dead there. So not your front line now call me and say, yo, what are going on? What are you doing? A tub is if you're there. A prestige mm. sound that. Mm-hmm. You, must not, you understand? And this other thing there. So I say, yeah. yeah you know what I say? A true thing you talk still, you know. So, mm. so. <laughs> like from, you don't know already, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> from that day, there was no looking back. Uh-huh. Hey, you understand? Mm. Yeah, from from this sir. And from then it was like and it seemed like a very um what's the word I'm looking at? Fluent. The crossover transition was the tr- smooth. transition is the word I'm looking smooth. for. The transition was mad crazy because yeah. you just appeared, it was like, yo, I don't know, who that brother there? As but I it think, felt like everybody kind of knew who you was and, and, well, and, and your know. position was was right. Yes, more it's like riding a bike, you mm. understand? And you know? Again, we're going to like literally fast forward. It's good to hear your, 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 your back catalogue still. Mm. But I mean, we're talking about the, the, the top sounds um, inside the UK. Mm. When you talk about the top sound system, they're supposed to have the top MCs. Mm-hmm. They're supposed to have the top selectors. Yeah. You're definitely a top selector. Well, no. We spoke to Fridge earlier on. He couldn't name a UK sound. 
that was going on really mm-hmm. much right now. But he had a valid reason why. Mm. He didn't say there was all rubbish. He just says there's a reason why. Mm. You being in the thick of it now, mm. clash with some of the sounds, um, good friends with some of the sounds, um, mm. with the UK sounds and who you're seeing right about now, who's represented, because the UK is, is kind of like on a vibes right now. And you're the part, you're part of that and, uh, and have yeah. helped part, helped make it reach where it is right now. So, mm. Sounds like that, 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 that you feel like you're doing a thing inside the UK. Is it? I'm going to tell the lies. I'm going to be biased. I see Marvin's kicking up a little bit of a storm for a little sound that's coming up throughout mm-hmm. the wrong. He, Marvin and his little team, they 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 they, they, uh, they created a little impression up of the rumble still. They lose, you know, the last part, but then they went right down to the nitty gritty of it still. Mm-hmm. So, and he went to the final last. He, he win it last year. Mm-hmm. It, 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 it under some controversy. So, so mm-hmm. I'm going to tell Marvin, I go out with a little thing still. Willpower is a sound also that is going on with the little things. Mm-hmm. I mean, I take it from them still. Skinny yeah. and the whole other crew, them still. You understand? You know, them are putting the works mm-hmm. and thing. You understand? But obviously, you're going to put yourself up in there. Yes, man. What so, what makes you better than them? Well, as I say, our consistency is still. You understand? So, mm-hmm. we have the long liberty. You understand? And we have the strength of, strength of songs and these things, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know? So, th- that, that is where I would say, yeah, we will stand up firm with them. One, one thing that people say because mm. I'm, I'm only going to go off like things of what people say I'm going to mm. try and keep it as real and as honest as possible well, for, you to, for, you to, for you to hear yeah. a lot of people them say that um, King Tobbies don't play the catalogue of songs that they have they seem to be mad repetitive when a sound has been out for so long with so much back catalogue of songs and the way how music is changing don't seem to be the sound that presents certain songs and brings back certain key songs. You as the main selector, um, why do you think people are saying that? Because if, if, because if it's, if it's, if it's happening or not. Because if you sometimes, it, it, it depends on the crack. If you play certain songs, they go to them. I say, what well, them old songs them I play? Mm. You understand? If you play, you understand, you play the new songs, they say, where the old song them where them have? Mm. You understand? So either way, you can't win. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. we have all the no time we play them. I say, what, what kind of what, what them start? Then I stand up and look for you with it. You understand? Mm-hmm. But they are there to. We we can no. Except we got a dance with LP coming up. If you want to hear the old catalog, you come out that thirty first of August. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. Does it frustrate you when people kind of put some kind of negative opinion on when you're trying to work so hard to push the sound uh, to where it is? Some people they they talk. People, as far as I'm concerned, I always say everybody's entitled to their own opinion, and as long mm. as they don't be disrespectful, still, car, you don't know mm. we're in the game. We're we're on the stage to be shot at, still, so, so everyone's mm. gonna have something to say. Mm. You understand? Is King Tubby's cutting as hard as King Tubby's claim to say they do? And I'm saying that because, again, some people out there, well, Tubby's not cutting the song. Now, how what, how consistent what, are you? How is the dog play quite in value? You have to you use your, your brain because Tubbies don't eat their, their, their bread and butter half a clash. We are mm-hmm. entertained. It was not, if you clash, you clash once for the year mm-hmm. or two times for the year. You understand? So we were cut accordingly. Mm-hmm. You understand? Because it's not the be all and end all. Yeah. And, and to be quite honest, some of the, the price them or the artists them are asking you after you know what you're doing in this game because you mm-hmm. will end up in a bankruptcy. You understand? Um, <laughs> The, the questions keep flowing because you're coming with the good answers. Uh, and I was going to talk about the artists then. Yeah, I, and, and, and you're going to have to work with me around this one because mm. when I hear sounds talking about, yo, the artists are about charge too much, mm. I'm trying to work out which artists they're talking about mm. because the said artists they're talking about don't win clashes anyway. Exactly. So who's, who's overcharging? Okay, then sh- well, let's let's call some names. You know, the Shaggy them, the, the, the maybe a Junior the, Gong, the maybe Chronics them. Ah, oh, some are charged too much. The, yeah. But them artists ain't winning clash they're anyway. Winning clash. So that's why you have to use your psychs. You understand? So that's why I say you 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 you, you you're cut accordingly. Mm-hmm. You understand? You have to know what you're doing and these things, too, you know? Yeah, and everything and everything's cool in the camp right about now. Some some songs in there. So you've 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 actually pushed a couple of new artists out there that we've heard. Um, how important is it to you to like? 
try and feature new artists? Well, it's always important because you always have to make a contribution to this thing. You're not just in the in there to be seen and thing. You know, well, I'm, that's as far as I'm concerned, mm. we're in our reggae music for make a contribution. Yeah, you understand. And, and Tubby's, you know, Tubby's, and you're going to hear that song, and you're, you're doing something for the business. You understand? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's so. Uh, that's what I. That is my philosophy. Still, you understand? Yeah. And not just hype and stand up and um, one bag and nice and thing. You know, see it. We, uh, we we like for airport, you understand? So you know, sir, uh, Toby's El, the, the artist there, or whatever be the case, or, or even that sound, you understand? So because you don't know, sir, it, it is 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 a family thing, you know. See, yeah. you know, so we see that, you know. Yeah, man, definitely. How would you describe your uh, Cecil's inside the place? So we might come back on the camera still, but describe your relationship together. And the reason why I'm <laughs> going to say this, right, because it was mad funny. And I've seen it a few times. I know, yeah. But I especially it. saw it at 45 <laughs> Shop Luck. Doing your thing. <laughs> no disrespect to the elder, but it looked like he was just on your case, man. Like, yo, yo. And then sometimes you turn around to him and he's like, I can see you cussing. <laughs> and the two of you are going back and forth, you know. And Cecil just walk out and you just carry on doing your thing. Well, you don't know and then you, every now and then he'll come, he come know, again. It's hard work. How, how, how it's do you like find hard that? hard work still. I mean, I don't know. It's hard work. But you don't know. And the elder, fame thing, so he's going to want to put his input in. Yeah? Mm-hmm. But you have to know, sir, I have to explain that when you're a selector still, you have to have maximum concentration because you have to know yeah. everything what's going on in another mm-hmm. place. Mm-hmm. And you're focusing on what you're going to play. You're focusing on so many different things. You yeah. understand? Yeah. And you don't know, I'm hearing what he must say, but me not I hear him. <laughs> you, you understand? <laughs> he might talk, he yeah. might move, but me not I hear nothing. Yeah, 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 yeah. You understand? Because There's you know you're going so, on. a focus because me, they might go say, who don't eat that thing where you might do? Mm. They might say, Cecil, I do it, you know? Yeah. They might say, me, I do it. So mm. I have to make sure my focus is 100%. Yeah, yeah. You understand? Him have to, him have to have him input. But, uh, you know, so we take these things on board yeah. and them things, you know it's, what I mean? It's a great, it looks like a great, if you're a fan <laughs> of sound system culture, I don't always just listen to the music, I see what's going on. And, and at the end of the day, again, it's about dedication, it's about working as a team. Mm. Because at the end of the day, I know there's certain sounds or certain selectors or MCs who have too much of attitude for attitude. that to happen Looking in front of people. people. As simple as it is, it, yeah. Yeah. it looks Actual. away. Wait, and someone will turn away. around and be like, walk off and, 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 and yeah, yeah, you understand. You know what I mean? And then afterwards, he's like, oh yeah, I talked to me, so and this, definitely. that, you understand and me man, them just kind of mash that's up the thing. We always, so we always have to, and, and we always emphasize you you you, you cannot understand. Yeah. <laughs> you know, well, you know, I mean, I always have to emphasize there are so many eyes watching and it's the age it's of social true, media and true. everybody have them camera up and yeah. everything. Even if in the farest corner, man, I, I watch, even if they got a the camera, they're watching and yeah. see what I'm going. Mm. You understand? Trust so you me, have man. to, is, everything is about presentation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You it understand? looks mad cool, man. It looks funny. Because <laughs> it just shows, and it shows how cool you are because yeah. you can see that happening. Yeah. You've got headphones yeah, on, on, you're mixing. Yeah. That song's going to go. Yeah. And you're probably you, thinking you, about the next three songs after that. Three songs. I'm not saying. I've been three songs ahead. Yeah, I'm not going to tell him, Ron. All right, father. Great, great, your great, great <laughs> communication. <laughs> what's, what's your take on that one? Woo! Woo! <laughs> 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 Original King Tobies. Mm. In a business about no sound. Mm. Out there, sir. Mm-hmm. We have a new thing come up where you are using headphone compared to speaker box. You see, anytime me and any man argue about the sound Mm -hmm. because I listen to what is coming through the speaker box, not what is coming through the headphone. If I come up to you and say to you, so well then, the speaker box on a bit this started. All you have to do is turn it down a little bit and balance it. Mm. That is all the problem I have with the micro because they are selecting some good song. All my problem is because I believe in quality, mm-hmm. not quantity. That is it. Turn on the bass. Yeah. Turn on the tops. Turn on the mid range. Nothing more. So because other people don't watch me and think so well then me is a fool out there. I am not a fool. Some man have them thing and friend for talk. Me not mm. friend for talk. 
Yeah, trust Boom. me. Before we go, we're gonna we're gonna wrap it up. But there's just one more thing which I should have said. Sh- it just literally come to me as we was talking, and it's gonna be between you and Natty as well. So, um, Boom Clash. Boom Clash took place, and I'm not really, I can't really two tech Boom Clash simply because it comes on too late. Mm. Like, when I'm getting up to do the school run, Boom Clash is on. I'm like, fam, I ain't got time for this right now, man. It's long, and I'm never going to be able to find time mm. to catch up with it. But then I seen King Tobbies is on Boom Clash. How did that whole thing go around, and is there two sides of a King Tobbies? Do, is there another active team over there in Jamaica, and how did that, that come about? Yo, you, you see, um, let me explain something to you. I plan a strategy to say, all right, I went to St. Harvey, go to Jamaica. Mm-hmm. Open that Harvey get through. The MC back in the mic in Boom Clash, my blood relative. Mm-hmm. I said to him, Loom. Have you come down there and you have to work the mic for Harvey. Mm-hmm. They did not have no training. Harvey don't know them. They don't know Harvey. But I was hoping that we get through. Because I don't have the crew ready to go back down there. Go mm-hmm. really sure. Uh-huh. Unfortunately, you see, I'll, me I'm telling you straight. Even with the Jamaica boom clash there. Yeah. I'm not really too happy with that. Because mm-hmm. when we hear Jamaica make boom clash on them man they attack and we play the biggest set of tune out of all of the man them. Some man just a chat, chat, chat. Mm-hmm. And I said nothing. Them not playing a song. Mm-hmm. I don't hear them playing a song. If it's me for run go cut all, me hear the man play a song. Mm-hmm. They are the man who play any song they saw Tubbies. Not because of my son, but I don't disrespect no, for please no man. Mm-hmm. They are there to prove to you all. So well then, Tubbies are the only play. Some man I talk about Bob Marley. Let me tell you something. Bob Marley did not sing my special name for me. The youth name Dangling. I'm going to tell them straight whether they know and believe it yet or not. If me did ask Bob for sing the tune for me, he would have do it just the same. Because the whole way come from up at Windsor Lodge. Mm-hmm. Bob will be. You're not going to sit down and know yourself. You know. Was you happy with the... Was, was, do you think it was a good move? Is it something that you regret having the, having the King Tubbies do that thing, the bomb clash in Jamaica? And it, is there still going to be a continuous King Tubbies... Um, sound in Jamaica represented on the Jamaica side? I don't know if it's going to be a represented, but with my family, them, if me send my dog, go get them, me tell them straight up, you know, don't get nobody them, you know. Mm. And out of respect, me, I got to tell you straight up. Up to last night, me and the main man, I talk about it, you know, see it. Mm-hmm. But me have some little thing in my portfolio where me are work out and me know say it how got you. Mm-hmm. Cause me tell him what you do and support and my fulfill. Energy, enough respect. Mm-hmm. I mean I tell you straight. Them can't stop me really you know. Cause me have ways and means to go around this thing yeah. Mm-hmm. Family. Boogie la where do <laughs> my vice all of them boy there. Only one man I hold me off really. I don't call him name. I <laughs> 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 buy all of them for special man. Because mm-hmm. someone has one and a panda. So it's a normal, normal sound. Bushman, no respect anyway there. How are you? You think me a dash away for nobody? Them kia make me dash away. Respect father. People, what can we say? Uh, Natty, yeah, 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 just a little bit more. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm how did you, how do you think the selectors then performed on, on, on our boom, boom clash? clash All right, then we'll get into the thing on the boom clash thing now. We need to get a whisper when we go down there, so they're not going to make no foreign sound on our country sound go with that. That is first and foremost. Oh. I'm going to big up Ricky Trooper, big and serious, because he said he's going to tell no lie on music. You understand? Oh. Him judge the thing fairly. 
You know see it. So him him show him him see say when we was playing we did have a better end we was we, we had a more thing there, you understand? When you come on to the juggling round, be a fire. You know, four corner forward. Mm -hmm. But him say we never juggle still. So them get to the to, to the to the um the other zone, the leg zone, you see it? Mm -hmm. That was the first clash. We did clash two times. The first clash. The, the second round, the Terra Fabulous round, which is 45, and, 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 and when it come on to the, the DJ dub and the singing dub, they couldn't find us. This, the song is four years old, you have to remember. Mm. Where they got find song for play, Tubbies? In a, that category, when you're talking about big song. Yeah. You understand? Four years old. So, so, so when you're at Admiral Bailey and, and, and William Name there, Escort talk up them out. The man them after me I said, boy, when you play the bounty killer song, you know, me know, me look on troop and me know say a big song that you know, but it a, it a go over the crowd. Head. But you as a judge, you know it's a big song. So you, that is for you to explain to the people them the, what is a big song from what is not a big song. I hear that. You understand? You see it? So it, it, the, the, the only, if you look on the Facebook feed, you see a beer slaughter the judge that might get slack because they come like they don't know what they're talking about. Mm. And they have to realize the world is watching. Mm -hmm. You understand? You know, it's not a good representation of them, a representation of themselves. Mm -hmm. You understand? Supposed to be a, it's a, it's a, it's a global thing. You understand? With regards, if it was a good move to go on top, I say it was a good move because big platform and them thing there. You yeah, understand? Yeah, yeah. So you don't have good exposure and these things. You understand? Mm -hmm. So I would not say it was not a good move still. You understand? Mm -hmm. Because when we come back, the whole of England say, yeah, Tobi is your represent England. Me not a lie. Mm -hmm. You understand? Be a bit respect with it, get feet still. You understand? Me, yeah, man. Can't left out my boss now, Colonel Light. You know, so I do you go on a bit shabby right now. Colonel Light, I'm my hero. Mm -hmm. Boom. Beanie man. What do you? Boom. Yeah. You know what? Uh, I think future future plans. Future plans. Well, how, how are you seeing the sound moving right about now? Class culture. Where is it going? And um, how are you going to make your make sure Tubby's keep themselves relevant right now? Well, Tubbies will always be relevant since the, from the name T King Tubbies are called, we will always be relevant as far as I can see from out there doing the word, the name will always get called, you understand? Mm. You know, see it? So therefore, so yeah, that, that basically I hate that, you know, so, mm. so that future plans just c continue doing what we're doing, keeping up the consistency car from him building so 1970, not even one hour him take off for the road still, mm. for nothing, you understand? Well, people, what can I say? We're going to wrap it up there. Mm -hmm. It's King Top is up inside the building. Started off with the big man. No, with Let's finish off with the, <laughs> yeah, off man. With the big man. Enough artists me go through in this thing. Huh? Mm -hmm. You know, man feel no way. You know, you know so I come from King Tubby's, 18 Jomali Avenue. Mm -hmm. Singing melody. Triller like you. Colonel Light go buy some song for me, Pan Special. Banana Man. Pliers. The first set of pliers me get out to and Tubbies. You think some man can wangle me, because you hear me, go on? Trust I just laugh, you know. Mm. I don't play, play my tune in Pan Radio, make the man, I put it Pan Cassette, you know. Osborne Rodok, 18 Jomali Avenue. King Everal. All the man. I can't call enough man, man. We come through. Tubby say, make them sing some tune for you because I broke Tubby's I broke them in. No man not tell me nothing, man. 1970 till now. So the future sounds Boom. hardcore. <laughs> there you have it, people. Ronald Java, rest in peace. Because you have always been my friend in this music business. Away from Lady Cox. Boom. Well, what can we say? We wrap it up like that. Big shout out, reach out to the whole Tubby's family inside the building right about now you can clearly see a sound that is fully 100 percent on a mission right about now wow. keep it locked to tv sound system you know it's select to hype up inside the building man what it is what it is crazy king top is inside the building we're out one peace